Kesaga between Eric Ten Hag and Jadon Sancho seems to have escalated behind the cameras. When Eric Ten Hag left Sancho from the pecking order against Arsenal, he blamed the former Borussia Dortmund's player for not being in the level that the club wanted. Fuming, Jadon Sancho came out and denied the allegations, saying that he had been used as a scapegoat for a long time. A few days ago, Jadon Sancho deleted all posts he had made concerning the ill treatment he had received from the club by the coaching staff. Now, the recent update about the issue is that Manchester United issued a statement concerning Jadon Sancho. This is what the statement says. Jadon Sancho will remain on a personal training program away from the first team group pending resolution of a squad discipline issue. Do you think that the club is trying to instill discipline which has been a subject of speculation of late? Is Eric Ten Hag a disciplinarian or with a soft ego that gets bruised all the time? Do you remember the incidents where Sir Alex Ferguson hurled a shoe at David Beckham after the Englishman failed to tell the line? Now, what you might not have known is that after that incident, David Beckham had a back and forth with Sir Alex Ferguson and the coach had to let him go to Real Madrid. Do you also remember when Patrice Evra admitted, or rather, revealed how Alex Ferguson flashed them out of a bus to sign autographs for the fans? Was this a case of discipline or ego? Back to Eric Ten Hag. Do you think pushing Cristiano Ronaldo out of United after he exposed the club for being a shell of its old self was a case of ego or discipline? Or leaving Marcus Rashford on the bench against Wolves for coming to a meeting late because he had overslept? Before we proceed, have you subscribed to this channel and liked this video? As we approach the issue of Jadon Sancho, I think it is only fair to approach the whole issue with logic rather than emotions. In my opinion, Eric Ten Hag was on the wrong for parading Jadon Sancho's weaknesses, if any, to the public. Remember, Jadon Sancho has been struggling with some issues, and parading his weaknesses to the public could erode his esteem further. On the other hand, Jadon Sancho acted on his anger and made Eric Ten Hag appear like a villain in a play. Either way, a better approach to solve the issue should have been developed instead of washing the club's dirty linen in public in the name of club statement.